Yeah, it's part of paid by GRM Daily. Exclusive interview. The meaning behind 24 is just in just I was like, I just turned 24 and this is the first time of me like going into a year in my life where I'm clear of jail, I'm clear of like any issue, I'm I'm focused in it, you know what I mean? And there's the other meaning as well, we're out here 24s. You got the program as well, Jack with Jack Bauer 24, that's a little theme, you know, that training day with a the theme thing. So that was sort of in my mind as well. Yeah man, just trying to be original, isn't it? That's what it is. The project come about. Like basically, obviously, I just cut up, just obviously come out. The last thing I released was Training Day, which was so so long ago. Even that, even the bars from that were written, like years before that. While I was on that sentence, you know what I'm saying? That was, I done 27 months, so that was, some of them bars was written in like 010, 011. You know what I mean? There was a lot of pressure on me in it to release new music. Everyone wants new music, so I just quickly just got in the studio for the first like first time made a studio, made project in it. There's no influence from anywhere else apart from music in it, do you know what I'm saying? And collaboration wise, people that I'll collaborate with, there's a lot there's there's a few people man. There's quite a few. Not really rappers though man. I wanna I wanna get out of the box of rappers innit? I wanna try and work with like other I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Singers and even just pro even producers, collaborating with producers, because you can collaborate with a sick sick producer and make a sick sick banger, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, rappers wise though, like um Obviously, ill-made, bonkers, people that are around me, innit? Most of the people that are, that I listen to you rap wise, they are incarcerated, innit? KB, Kemzy, Daft, Mover. Do you know what I'm saying? So, like, it's hard for me to reach out to anyone else out, outside of that, innit? Really, really. Obviously, being from Essex, where I'm from, it's tricky, innit? Like, because obviously I'm from Barking. So, um, it's a London borough, but it's Essex based, innit? But Essex is obviously a big place. Do you know what I mean? And there's so many Londoners, there's so many rappers that are on this, that are just in that, do you know what I'm saying, on their own thing, doing what they're doing. And obviously I wanted to rep where I'm from, innit? I'm, I, I could have easily j jumped on the wave and started saying I'm from East, innit? No one could have told me no different. But, you know what I'm saying, obviously, yeah man, I'm, I'm me. Where I'm from, where I'm from, I'm from Barking in Essex. Growing up where I grew up is, you know, it weren't really the area, innit, that, that, that shaped me as a, as a person, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? It was more the experiences that I had in that area and people that I was around in that area, do you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man, growing up, yeah, growing up was, growing up was good. Yeah. Growing up was good. Obviously, I was in that like, jail a lot, innit? I ain't really from nowhere, innit? I can't really feel like I'm from I'm from a certain area or something, innit? Because up until, like, now, I haven't been out of, like, custody for a space longer than eight, nine months since I was about 15, 14, you know what I'm saying? Do I have any regrets? More like, I regret stuff I didn't do, innit? Rather than stuff that I did. All the stuff that I've done, innit? You know what I'm saying? I regret looking back in hindsight, I regret not making certain choices and not doing certain things and not. Do you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man. And if I, if I never lived that certain type of lifestyle and I weren't involved in what I was involved in, I, weren't, I ain't coming from where I'm coming from, then people wouldn't, I wouldn't have this stuff to say that I've got to say, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? Because just of image alone, people don't really. Take to my, to me what I'm to what I'm saying in it. Do you know what I'm saying? So for people to feel what I'm saying, that like, they must actually feel what I'm saying. Because you ain't looking at me thinking, raw. He's definitely about it. Do you know what I'm saying? If KB and Mira was around, then yeah, they would definitely have got a look in, man. Do you know what I mean? They'd have been around me in it. It's not even about the feature. It's about if you, they'd have been around me while I was making the music and it would have happened in it. Do you know what I'm saying? And no, that would have been a bang and we couldn't have not put it on there. Or maybe they would have used it for one of their. Projects or something, man. I don't know, but it's a sad, sad story, man. Why did you start rapping? Like, what do you think? Like, what do you think? You feel like you have a message to give to people? Do you care about rap, or do you yeah. just do it because you're nice? No, nah, man. Um, the reason why I rap is, I don't. The reasons have changed now, isn't it? Since why when I first started rapping, you know what I'm saying? When I first started rapping, I was just rapping. Just, just rap, just everyone, just them saying my thoughts and saying what I was thinking, saying what I was feeling. Obviously, I'd go, I'd go away for periods of time. Yeah, coming from like the general East London area and growing up in that whole area, yeah, definitely. Obviously, I was, I've been, obviously, my musical taste has been influenced 
a lot by like your wildies from when I was a little, you know what I'm saying? Like listening to Rinse FM and Deja and Temptation, all them stuff, them flavour, whatever, being a little kid and watching the scene change. Like I've watched it all change and to be a part of it now and to be actually making a change in it myself. Yeah, it's proper, man. It's sick. It's not hard at rapping being white because people always say oh, that you're hard for, that's hard white, he's hard for a white boy. You get more recognition for being white. So I don't think it's, but well, it's just my image of my glasses and whatever, whatever, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? Pete, everyone's got their own opinion and a lot of people don't really know what's really good, innit? Like, for life in general, let alone for me, innit? So, that, it's just, that's just what it is. And I just gotta take it as it comes. I don't mind, innit? I'm, I'm, I'm the one that's making videos, putting myself on YouTube, innit? So, say whatever you wanna say, oh, you're still watching me. You ever got this at the Potter BK Insta, you're a smacking life. You don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to get me nicked or satin, bro. Yeah, but you need to just lie, bro. Yeah, at the pot of paper, him, at pot of paper himself. That's my real official Insta, innit? it? Like, don't accept no imitations. You know what I'm saying? Get onto my man. Ravages. Thing, <laughs> innit? You get me? <laughs> Shut him down, bro. At the pot of BK on Insta, not on Twitter, because that's my official Twitter. You should get 24 if you've heard all my other music, yeah? and you know that I can do that, but you wanna, you're you wondering, can I actually do something else? Can I actually make a song in it? Everyone knows I can fry a beat on and rap, but then so can a lot of people, you know what I mean? But can I make a song in it? Can I, can I produce, can I, can I provoke emotions from you in it? Can I, you know, everything, can I, I don't really know to, be honest, to put it into words, but I just think if you, if you dig me, get in it. There's no way I'm squandering this opportunity in it. I'm in a position to change my life and I ain't like that. It's changing already, innit? I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't gonna mess that up.